Milk and dairy products are nutrient-dense foods, which is essential for us from the first days of life. Even if a person does not drink milk, it is often used as a component of ready-made dishes. People with lactose intolerance tend to replace it with a lactose-free variety because there are lots of essential nutrients in milk that a person needs every day. A lot of products are made from milk, which we use in our diet on a regular basis. In today's program, we will talk about the production of milk and dairy products, which we consume on a daily basis and which are present on our tables on holidays. There has been a debate about which came first, the chicken or the egg, but the answer is clear with the case of the cow. That domestic animal gives milk, then a number of products are obtained by processing of milk. Thus, the work of a regular dairy farm starts with a cow maintenance, or to be more precise, with the maintenance of several hundred or even thousands of them. A regular farm works according to certain regulations. Experiments or improvisation are not particularly conducted here. Timely feeding and grazing as well as milking of cows are even more strictly regulated. A modern farm is equipped with the most advanced technology. Special equipment is used to feed and milk cows. At the same time, the computer strictly monitors which cow should be milked and when. If the time has not come yet, then the cow is sent to generate milk. Breeding work is also carried out according to strict rules and regime. Dairy cows are impregnated according to the schedule, and later they are delivered, so to speak, to the maternity unit, which is located in a separate livestock pen. Yet, watching the so-called kindergarten in which recently born calves are growing is particularly pleasant. They will remain in a personal nursery for several months until the time comes to relocate them to a common livestock pen. Immediately after birth, we take the calves to special livestock pens. There, they are mainly fed with milk. They spend the next two to three months growing in another livestock pen. We personally control the whole growing process of cows. We make sure the growing cows are provided with everything they need to be milked. That's how the livestock turnover and increase is maintained. After the cows are milked and the milk is collected, it's time to take it to the factory. The milk truck leaves the farm and goes to the factory. There, it will undergo several stages of processing. A finished product will be produced from it soon after. The milk that we received from the farm is delivered to the milk collection section. Our operator has just connected the milk truck to the collection module and we are pumping the milk. Next, let's see what we are going to do with this milk. Milk cooled to 4 degrees is delivered to the milk collection module. Here we have a cooler and a counter, which allows us to know exactly how much milk we have received. Our milk is transferred to the collection tanks. You can see the 10-ton and 6-ton containers here. Next, milk tests are taken. A dairy farm is a promising business opportunity in rural areas because milk is a popular product in the market. Milk and dairy products such as cheese, curds and yogurts are in great demand in our country. 
наше оборудование основное сердце. This equipment is the heart of our factory, if I may say so. These are pasteurizer, a homogenizer and a separator. Milk is separated and after standardization we make produce the end products, such as sour cream, kefir, yogurt, curd and cream. We have a very wide range which includes more than 30 items. We do our best to please the consumers. Кефир, йогурт, буртитаны, сливки на пастеризации. Вот это наше основное производство. According to the owners of dairy farms, the main advantages of the business idea are high demand for dairy products, state support and the possibility of compensating for part of the costs of starting a project from scratch. A dairy farm usually produces a wide range of products, such as milk, kefir, kurt, and even ice cream. The process is completely automated and mostly hidden from human eyes, but experts control it at any stage. Particular attention is paid to the production of kurt at some farms in Kazakhstan. It can be produced both manually and with the help of special equipment. The demand for this product is confirmed by the fact that more than a dozen cabinets are stuffed with kurt, which is undergoing the drying process. At the same time, each unit has its own standard, which should be observed. Talking about large dairy farms, we don't imply dairy production only. For many people, they provide stable jobs and an opportunity to acquire new professions, allowing them to plan their future with confidence. There are four children in my family. I am the middle one. I came to work at the factory to pay for my studies. Over time, this job has grown on me, and I really liked it. Also, I would mention the management's good attitude towards employees. At first, I worked as a loader, later I got trained to become an operator. One can train to become an engineer to climb up the career ladder at the factory. And currently, I get a stable salary and help my parents. Working here is very exciting and I believe that there are ample opportunities for young professionals at this factory. It is important in our time. In 2022, there were 4.6 million cows in the country, which is 5.9% more than a year earlier. The largest number of cows was recorded in the Turkestan region, more than 609,000, an annual increase of 10.7%. The following regions are the Abai, almost 394,000 heads, the surplus of 4.5% in a year and the West Kazakhstan, 388,900 heads, an increase of 11.5%. As per the results of January to July of 2022, the Kazakh farms received 3.8 million tons of milk, which is 1.2% more than a year earlier. The largest volume as expected was recorded in the Turkestan region, that is 492,000 tons. The following are the North Kazakhstan and Abai regions. Almost 85% of dairy products in Kazakhstan are domestic, while over 15% are imported. In January to March of 2022, Kazakhstan registered 151,000 tons of processed liquid milk and cream, of which 145,200 tons, or 96%, were produced by local enterprises whereas 5,800 tons, or 3.9%, were imported from abroad. However, imported products prevail for condensed milk and cream, as well as for milk in solid form. Nevertheless, local producers continue to work and plan to increase production. Yet, in this matter, it is impossible to do without the state support. First of all, when we were building our factory, we took a preferential loan through the Agro Credit Corporation. Later, we received another loan through a second-tier bank. This was a significant help when launching the project. Any farmer will confirm the importance of affordable and long-term loans. Today, we receive subsidies for every liter of milk produced. 
We also receive one-time payments for each head of cattle every year, which is a subsidy for feed. Thanks to such state support, we managed to run our own business and make plans for its development. The Kazakh government pays special attention to the development of the dairy sector in the country as well. Thus, Kazakh Prime Minister Alihan Smailov, at a meeting with agricultural producers of the North Kazakhstan region, said, Every year, at least 35 dairy farms are planned to be built in the country, including 9 to 15 industrial farms. The implementation of such projects will increase production volumes, raise the workload of milk processing enterprises, reduce import dependence, and create new jobs. Work in this direction should be continued. For example, there are 12 dairy farms operating in the Kostanai region these days, and 23 more in 11 districts of this region are planned to be built in the coming years. The region's dairy processing factories fulfill 87% of the population's demand for dairy products. Processed milk is produced in sufficient quantities, while the demand for butter is covered by 44%, cheese and curd by 26%, Kaffir and yogurts by 74%. In 2022, three small dairy farms were created in the Karasu, Mendikara, and Altinsarin districts of the region. In the coming years, 23 more dairy farms are planned to be built in 11 districts of the Kostanai region, where extremely favorable natural and climatic conditions for providing feed are observed. The number of dairy cattle will increase by 17,500 heads. For the project's implementation, almost 100 billion tenge of investments will be generated, and more than 800 new jobs will be created, representatives of the local governorate report. According to experts, the new dairy farms will allow to increase production by 30% and provide additional workload for dairy enterprises from 70% to 86%. Also, domestic farmers may be subject to receiving subsidies. The Kazakh government is convinced that each tenge should be used as efficiently as possible. As for subsidies, the primary task is to increase productivity so that every tenge allocated from the national budget is aimed at stimulating productivity. At the same time, we enable local executive bodies to give other types of subsidies depending on the specifics of the region and the situation. In any case, new approaches to subsidizing will be adopted together with you, the agricultural producers. Milk and dairy products are of strategic importance for the economy of any country, since it is in demand by all segments of the population. Providing the population with affordable and high-quality dairy products is one of the main tasks of socio-economic and political significance. In the modern world, milk is considered as a unique and most valuable source of protein, which is deficient in most countries of the world. The demand for protein increases every year along with the growth of the world's population and its well-being. The bulk of milk produced in the world, or 85%, is cow's milk. 10% of milk is obtained from buffaloes, and 5% are attributed to camels, goats, sheep, and others. We are engaged in the production of exclusively healthy products, so its shelf life is short, a maximum of 24 days. Currently, we are covering only the city of Shumkent and the Turkestan region. I would certainly like to expand the geography of deliveries of our products throughout the country, but there are certain issues about logistics and its delivery to the final consumers. At present, we are distributing products to 3,500 stores, and at the same time, we are negotiating with a well-known supermarket chain to sell our dairy products in Almaty. We are also planning to develop, expand, increase the number of livestock and grow production volumes. We are capable of producing high-quality tint stew meat, sausages and other products. At the same time, no matter what difficulties we face, we are still trying to evolve. The USA takes the leading place among milk-producing countries. 
It is mainly produced in California, Wisconsin, New York, Idaho, and Pennsylvania. It should be noted that the American dairy cows are some of the most productive in the world. American farmers play relaxing classical music to cattle in milking sheds, turn on fans and spray devices in order to simulate a spring breeze, while special mechanical equipment provides cows with even more pleasant sensations. In the morning, cows in the barns rest on water beds with a controlled temperature regime and eat dietary meals, while high-tech tags on the legs of the animals monitor their well-being. According to farmers' estimates, cows should lie down for at least 12 hours a day, which maximizes their milk yield. The second place in milk production is taken by India, which has been enjoying leading positions in recent years due to the constant production modernization. China comes third in this ranking. Due to the situation between Russia and Ukraine, we have difficulties with the delivery of components. For instance, I have two robots which require spare parts. Alas, we have not been receiving proper details we need for more than a year now. We purchase packing materials mainly from Russia. Likewise, due to the events, for some time we have not received this material and then we were informed that they were raising prices for it. Recently, Israeli companies have contacted us with an offer. It is a pity that no one produces such things in Kazakhstan and we still depend on other countries in many regards. It would still be better if we were able to provide ourselves with as much as possible. Milk is an essential source of vitamins and minerals. It contains a large amount of riboflavin, vitamin B2, vitamins A, D, B1, B12. Milk with low fat content helps lose weight and promotes effective fat burning. However, it should be reminded that the consumption of milk has a reverse side of the coin. Dairy products are undeniably high in vitamins and nutrients. However, some studies show that high consumption of dairy products such as low-fat milk and cheese may increase the risk of breast cancer. Also, despite the benefits of calcium, some scientific data have linked excessive consumption of this element with an increased risk of prostate cancer, and high content and intake of vitamin D from milk with an increased risk of pancreatic cancer. Excess calcium or hypercalcemia can cause constipation, kidney stones or kidney failure. This rarely happens just because of a dairy diet, but it can be dangerous when a person takes calcium supplements. Studies also show that eating fatty dairy products such as butter can increase the risk of developing brain problems and inflammation. Dairy products are high in saturated fats. The American Heart Association notes that eating too much saturated fat can raise cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart diseases and strokes. Experts recommend consuming no more than 5 to 6% of calories from saturated fat and assure that the daily consumption rate of milk and other dairy products should not exceed 500 milliliters overall. For children at the age from 4 to 7 years old, this number is somewhere around 350 grams. For the children aged between 7 and 9 years, about 400 grams. Between 10 and 12 years old, the consumption rate of dairy products is the same as for adults. Therefore, drink milk to boost your health, and preferably, it should be made in Kazakhstan.